Let's get back to the markets now. 10.04 Eastern Time, a rally for the Dow, Nasdaq, S&P. Not huge, but it's a rally. David Barnson joins me now. David, I want to start with inflation. We've got this number, 7.3% producer price inflation over the past year. That's very strong inflation. But you're not worried about it, are you? Do you agree with the Fed that it's transitory? Yeah, but the thing is, Stuart, I'm very worried. It's just not about inflation. I'm worried that what the bond market's telling us is that we're in for a long period of low growth, that this excessive government spending is not inflationary. It's like Japan. It's, it's really disinflationary over time because it constricts productive growth. And that's what I think our economy most needs. The PPI was mostly from energy related, very low prices a year ago. It's pushed things higher. There are pockets of inflationary pressures that concern me, but the big term issue I want to focus on is getting economic growth for the next five and 10 years. How do we do that? Well, I mean, the playbook in history is very clear. You need less regulation and taxation in the economy. But I don't say that politically. I say that as an economist. Uh, economics are about incentives. And you need to have incentives for productive growth. But all that we get in our economy is investment that comes from savings. And you can't have savings if the government is spending more money. This is basic economics. Interesting stuff. All right, David, we always have you on the show because you come to us with dividend of stock picks. That is stocks which pay a high and growing dividend. And I notice you favor second on the list there, JP Morgan, a very big name. What's the payout for the dividend? Well, it, I want to answer this with a little nuance, because right now the current dividend is about two and a half percent. But if you bought the stock eight years ago, the cash you'd be getting every single year is eight point one percent on what you invested. So all that means is the stock price has gone up a lot, but they've been growing the dividend year over year. They've grown the dividend one hundred and sixty five percent. And that's what we're in the business of doing is getting that growing growth. By the way, for those who are worried about inflation, you won't have anything to worry about when you're getting that kind of dividend growth. Okay, um, I'm a little wary of just 2%. Uh, I can do better than that elsewhere. You know, that gets Yeah, me but, but Stuart, let me, you're 2.5%, but remember, the S&P is yielding less than 1.5%. A 10-year treasury is yielding less than one5 and you're not getting growth of income. With JP Morgan, you're entering at 25 but you're getting about 8% growth of that income every year. Okay, all right. Let's have a look at Leon Del Basel. Ba I don't know how to pronounce that. Leon Del Basel, what is that? Leon Del Basel, but it's okay. I went about five years pronouncing it wrong back when we first bought it uh, almost 10 years ago. Uh, look, here you get a 4.5% dividend yield. Their dividend is also up 100%. And it's a great hedge if oil prices keep going higher because it makes their products more competitive because they use natural gas liquids. So it's a more volatile name, but we love it. They've been really disciplined with capital, great dividend grower, and you have a higher yield even as you enter the stock, which we know Stuart Varney loves. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still very thankful to you for BX, as in Blackstone. You recommended I bought that back at when it was about $30, $31 a share and paying 6%. It's now $100 a share and paying about 3%. But I'll take that capital gain, David, any day of the week. And thank you very much indeed. My gain, however, is not commissionable to you. Uh, we'll see you again no, soon, sir. David Bonson, because we always enjoy having you here.